a nice big tree with lots of food. So let's try it out. Oh yes. Yes, it does it. Oh really nice. It is the whole tree comes down. Hello everyone, I am Vinitri, this is a new video of Valhelsia Origins and may I remind you, you can hit that subscribe button at the subscribe. bottom right of the screen um, during the video, please hit that subscribe button and you do me a favor. So um, today I am uh, going to do some uh, stuff that makes my life easier in Minecraft. Without further ado, let's go to the video. So uh, in most mod packs, you can uh, just make you uh, a nice axe. Doesn't matter what. Mostly it's uh, basically needed an, uh, an iron uh, an axe and you can uh, chop down uh, a tree, the log at the bottom, and the whole tree comes down. But in Valhelsia Origins, that's not the case. Because immersiveness! I know this can be frustrating for uh, most of you. And yes, if you go mining uh, stone, it's just the same. Um, yes, I have been working a little uh, on my claim. And maybe you remember in one of the previous videos I had, I have found uh, a castle from uh, the Valhelsia Structures mod. And I claimed that castle. And I was thinking, yeah, let's make my base there, my, my home. But then, uh, after a few minutes after the video, I was like, nah. I have built all these uh, things here and I have made my storage here. No, I'm not go going to uh, do that. So instead, I was thinking, uh, let's just uh, make the castle here. Yes, ma make uh, a castle, just ma make it yourself. So I was building and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to make this uh, completely out of stone. I really need uh, lots of wood to make it uh, a little bit uh, nicer. The wood I I want to use, I think, are those uh, dark wood uh, logs uh, up there. But I don't want to mine them uh, log by log. So, what can we do in Origins? Well, there is... Immersive engineering and it adds a bus saw. It's basically uh, some kind of chainsaw. You can uh, saw uh, a tree and it comes completely down, just like a tree chopper. So I'm going to make that, I think. But first I need other machines. And like you see, I have been working uh, in my cave and I have added a few machines, so I also have upgraded uh, this blast furnace into a reinforced blast furnace. So I can uh, make my steel a bit uh, more faster and efficiency. efficiency. Um, I made two energy sources, the thermoelectric generators. And a high voltage capacitor uh, because I needed to store lots of uh, energy and it is currently full with 4 million flux. And I made uh, I made this uh, press and uh, fermenter and it's this one is full, this one isn't, but. That's, that's okay. 
So the next step I need to do is building a, uh, how is it called? I just forgot the name. Let's take a quick look. Uh, yes, the refinery. That's the next thing I need to make uh, because I can mix uh, the plant. That's uh, the plant oil and the how is that called? The ethanol. Those two fluids I can mix them in the refinery into. Uh, biofuel that's that's right biofuel and I need the biofuel to make and um, I, I don't need it uh, to make the, the machines but uh, the bus saw and the mining drill requires biofuel to function so let's check it out there uh, you have the mining drill and the bus saw so those two are the machines I'm going to make uh, on top of that of course I need the refinery so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back when it is complete one hour later so I think this is how it should be so let's take the hammer and BAM the refinery now I only needed to provide to provide some energy let's take this and this um, okay where I where am I going to put this this one here and there okay I need one more wire Ta -da. Yes Like this Okay And it should have power now Yes, okay, that's fine. Now the only thing to do is get the fluids from those machines into this one. And I think this is where it comes out. Okay, so I probably need to make more uh, of these. So let's, let's do that. Not sure how many I need, but I don't think that's enough, but it's a start. So let's, uh, so yeah, it's uh, getting in. Now the other side, I need to make more of these first. Okay. Let's make more. What do I need? More iron plates. Uh, like this. And then. Bam. Okay. Ba -ba -bom. Connect this to this one. And there is our first biodiesel yes so that's done and I have a fruit pipe okay that's fine so now I think I can make it go there yes oh I have already uh, lots of biodiesel that's really nice and I, I think, I'm not sure, but I think I just right click on the barrel with the biodiesel should fill my bus saw. It seems so. Okay. You can see that um, 
that small GUI at the bottom right of your screen. There is uh, an indicator that shows if it is full or empty. So, it is night. So, let's hope we can skip the night. So, daylight again and I'm on the other side of the river. And in a few moments, we will know if we can chop down such a large tree. I hope it can. It's a nice big tree with lots of wood. So let's try it out. Oh yes. Yes, it does it. Oh really nice. It is. The whole tree comes down. And, and it does it uh, it does it really nice actually it, it's not instantly all the blocks but smoothly going up so um, I think uh, it's it's done like this to uh, prevent some uh, lag it's going fast but not not too fast like uh, all the uh, other uh, tree chopper uh, uh, mods it's it's nice okay look how detailed it is it's, it looks really nice and it has those uh, little exhaust pipes that's really nice it's really nice done it's a nice model and the blade actually turns around it's it's really cool yeah so uh, I think uh, this is the end of the video, so if you liked the video, please uh, leave a like uh, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye!